All right, I'm coming back now with part three, still filming of the how I am sourcing now uh, during this crisis that we're dealing with. And so I have a few more that I have to open and um, some things that I purchased uh, for advertisement uh, reasons and gifts. So the next thing, and all the people that I'm going to be talking about through this uh, video, I will be having their links to their web page or their uh, YouTube channel. That way you can check them out. Cajun Roots reseller where I go thrifting, garage sales, estate sales, any kind of sales, even on clearance, to resell on eBay now and on Macari. Well, will I stop garage selling with thrifting? Who? Not me. Well, right now we have to, but you know what? I'm being as clever as I can be. I'm going to try to be anyway. And so there's other ways that we can do this kind of thing safely. So in this little clip, you, you will never know what will happen here with Cajun Roots reseller. So without further ado, here we go. I say, I say, I say, here at Cajun Roots Reseller, you give me an offer and I'll take it with no problem. I got an offer. I got the dollars. Let me have it, please. I got the dollars. Let them have it. You got the dollars? We got the offer? Let them have it with no problem. Let them have it. Well, here at Cajun Roots Reseller, if you own a fixed income, even if it's on a sale, in the Cajun Roots Reseller eBay store, guess what? Send an offer. Let them have it. Have it with no problem. All right, this is going to be the continuation part three of the auctions that I got for the month of April. This one I'm going to start this video off with because I had a clip on my last video that I was short. Um, there was a lot that I did that had uh, 14 and 15 of each, actually. Right here. It was originally 17-piece vintage pins and 14-piece cufflinks. Now, I did contact the uh, person who I got these from, and she submitted to me through Google Walk, back and forth through email. And she did contact me and let me know that she will be sending me the missing pieces, and I got those in, so I want to share that with you. Uh, Stephanie's Universe is who I bought these originally from. And so I wanted to point out how she takes care of her customer service and so I did go ahead and open it because I don't want to take all that time on the video to do it and so I received another one and I already untaped it it's uh, some more pins <clears throat> and she did send me the not only she sent me an extra one uh, which she didn't have to but she did really go out of her way so instead of the 17 pieces it came out to 18 total this is a pair of I want to say maybe apples, uh, the green apples. It's a little pin uh, that she added to the order that she sent me to complete that order uh, on the invoice. And she did tell me what happened, but she corrected it. And then these are some other pins. One says it's Christmas Joy. And the other one is Little Christmas Bells. And then this one says Joy. And then, of course, she did send another, uh, it's a tie clip, and this one has emeralds in it. And on the back of it says, Shields, engraved on it, and it's a little tie clip. It's like a, a, a three little uh, stones on it. I'm having a brain freeze. And it's gold tone. And so that was what she uh, returned and sent back to me in place of the ones that I was missing. Um, it was an error. But she did correct that. So I just want to point that out that, you, that your customer service is what really is important when doing this type of stuff. No matter if you're auctioning, buying uh, on any platform or anything like that. You want to make sure you take care of the, um, you know, the, the situation that may have happened. And it was an error, but she did correct it and tell me in the email what happened. And so that will complete her order of what she sent me. And I'll put all that together for that one. I'm going to be showing. I already opened it up. 
just got it in the mail yesterday. And so this was something that I ordered through uh, David at Tesla Picker. He does part of his eBay sales where he does customized socks. And this one, I, basically, you go online. You, you, oh, this is with, through Etsy. But he changed recently to where he's got his own page now. The way you can go directly through his website. But anyway, I got these as, through Etsy. And I did get two pairs. One for myself and one for a gift. And what I did was you basically send him the pictures, ideas that you may want for a sock. Uh, so, uh, order a sock, a pair of them. And so what I did was I basically sent him some of my items, some things that I use on my YouTube channel and that kind of stuff. And of course my uh, logo for my um, channel. And so I'm going to start showing these to show you what kind of work he does. And this is just the starting of the top. And you can order them in any kind of size that you need. And this is basically anything and everything that has to do with my life, whether from the past, me being in the Navy, or now as what I am as far as with the tuxedo when I have gone to Mardi Gras Balls. And that's the front of it. And as you see, both of them are the same. And then when you turn them around, the back side of them, you'll see how detailed. And he did, basically just designs it. I don't, you don't have to tell him what. He just basically creates it from what you send him. And so these are the pairs of socks that I got. Pictures together where I have my uh, Navy picture and my current picture. And so I just sent them to him to see what he can do. And he did it. Very colorful, very vibrant. And uh, it's called... Kulo socks, very thick. Uh, I've never had a pair of socks that was that thick before. So what I'm going to be doing is instead of me just wearing these, I'm going to actually have a display wall on my back of my, de my desk where I do almost all my live videos. And so this will be my uh, support wall that I have on the back, and the other one's going to be a gift. I went ahead and cut it open, but I did not get into them yet because this is something that I purchased to support another YouTube channel. Actually, they're in Alabama. His name is Colton. His wife is Courtney. And their YouTube channel is The Redneck Resale. And so uh, I happen to, uh, every now and then, go to someone's store and I'll support them, show them some love and support by buying something on in their store just to kind of get an idea of what they're selling too, you know? Now, in this one, I did purchase these. Um, he had them on Clarence. And he also had written a note. Um, he's got a little business card. In fact, he just redone his business card. And so in this one, um, it says, thank you so much for your support and business. It is truly means a lot to me. We hope that you enjoy everything. Thanks, thank you, Courtney and Colton, Redneck Resale. So that's going to go in my little oh, support wall with the cards that I get. And so this was, like I said, something that I bought. Uh, he was running a sale. I, I didn't know it until I actually looked on the website. And so I just went ahead and bought a couple of things from it. Very well uh, packaged. All right, this one is a M2, uh, let's see, like, like no other. It's a die cast uh, 1970 Dodge Super B Hemi R44, 18 to 24. And it's a M2 Detroit muscle car. Still brand new in its pack. It's like a little model, but it's an individual cast iron car. That was one of the items I purchased. I, every now and then I'll buy some Funko Pops. He definitely does really well on his packaging. You will not be disappointed when you order from him. In fact, we've had something else we got from him a while back. Um, Robert had in, we entered in one of his contests, and uh, Robert actually um, won. I want to say it was a mug. I think that's what it was. But anyway, he does several uh, contests with him and his wife Courtney. And so this is the Funko Pop that I got. I thought it was very interesting because I've never seen it before, and it's a ready. Ready Player One uh, Pop Movies, uh, number 498, and it's A-E-C-H, uh, Funko Pop. And so, to give him a shout out, I'll go ahead and put this in the description bar below the uh, video. And go ahead and show him some love and support. This one I got from Nana Tank. Um, she also does, um, she just started actually doing some more videos going live and that kind of thing and so I'm gonna give a shout out to her uh, this item uh, I bought this lot I won the auction at $29 and it's 18 pieces of little boys clothing something I want to try to get into because it was some nice pieces that I saw I think this might have been her first uh, live auction and I'll put the links down below that you can see these and as far as who these uh, channels are that I got these from all right now 
actually there's, there's youth uh, clothing actually this is a dress shirt it's a uh, 14 and 14 and a half George brand dress shirt long sleeve it's got pinstripes on it and this one is a Skechers a uh, starters I'm sorry a uh, 10 1618 This one is a Nike shirt, 16, eight, uh, a size that says uh, swoosh on the front of it, it's yellow and black. And then this one is a tank top with the, uh, it's called Retro Fit. It's a tank top with sport, uh, red, white, and blue. This one's on the bias t-shirt. Well packed. Everything is rolled like I feel like I'm back in the military. The American Eagle Outfitters has got the little eagle on it. This one's a pinstripe Brian Nelson 11 straight extra large. That's an extra large shirt. I think that's a man, uh, man's large. This is on um, pajama bottoms. Well, I think this is Eagle. American Eagle. This is a Nike shirt. Pirates baseball. Actually, it looks like more than 29. Let's see. This one is another... Uh, actually, this is an Arrow... Stable... Arrow Postal... Another arrow, sports, football, uh, arrow. I may be saying that wrong. I'm not too familiar with some of these brands, but I thought I might want to try them out. Something different. I do have some clothes that I've been selling. This is a medium OP. It's like a, a brownish tan color. This one is a t-shirt by from Nickelodeon. It's actually a long sleeve. Uh, uh, Rugrats. It's got the name on the sleeve as well this one's like a teal it's also a Nike golf pro fit dry fit uh, it's a medium for a little, little boy or a little girl maybe and I got a, 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 a little note uh, from Nana tank it says I appreciate you so much you got a great deal much love thank you Johnny and thank you, Nana. This is like a little... It's actually a pair of shorts. Uproar is the name of the shorts. The brand. And this is another pair of shorts. Arizona. Little pockets in the back. A little pleat. It's like a brown on tan. This looks like a sweatshirt, and that's what it is. This is a Gildan Heavy Blend. Penn State. Which side was that one? That's a medium. Okay, this one was the brown pair of shorts. Uh, cargo pants shorts, uh, Iron Company. This is a size 34, so this is the uh, uh, adult. Then these are two jackets or blazers. This one with the hoodie. Wow, it's very thick. This one is a GS, C, CSG medium. Uh, nice and thick. It's a medium sized jacket with hoodie. And the last one is also um, like a windbreaker jacket zip up. It's got a little camouflage hoodie, black and gray. Also the same brand, CSG. Uh, and this one's white and black with the black and being uh, camouflaged. And it's got a nice thick, and this is also nice and thick. It's got like an insert fleece on the inside. 
and that'll complete this haul from Nana Tank. All right, the total on this back uh, pack of uh, uh, clothing that I got from uh, Nana was actually a total of 20 pieces I got for $29. This one from Garage Flips, Lonnie. Uh, I bought these because uh, he did uh, do combined shipping and it was on sale. And I wanted to support another YouTuber that I've started watching when I first started. Um, before I even moved here to Massachusetts from Louisiana, he was one of those that I was watching uh, faithfully to learn and get knowledge of how this works. All right, there's a little note that says, thank you, Johnny. His little um, little stickers that he includes in his um, orders. We have gotten a couple of uh, mugs already from his uh, channel, um, but that's his uh, little signature sticker that he gives out to uh, all his orders. Just the two orders, but a little personal note, thank you. Now, in this, I purchased, when I purchased this, it was actually two separate items that I got. Uh, the first one is a lot of four. These were Funko Pops that he had as a, a lot in his shop store. I thought they were pretty cool, and again, I want to support them. And these are Funko Pops, yes, uh, from Ralph Breaks the Internet. This is number 09. This is one of four. And this lot I got for um, $10.99. There's one in a shank from the same series. These are all from the same series. Um, the Disney's Ralph Breaks the Internet. This one is Knows More, Little Owl. And the last one from this set is Fun Bun. And like I said, I got this all four of these for $10.99. And the next set I got, these were uh, a set of two. Now, one of them is a little discoloration from it being a little old, on the older side, I guess. And these are two, that's a lot of two. And this one, like I said, is a little discoloration. It's X-Men, the movie, Marvel, uh, and uh, you, uh, you, uh, Jackman, and uh, as well, Wolf Man, Wolf, Wolverine. Ah, I'm going to spit it out eventually. Um, I don't know what this is actually for, unless it's just for decoration. Oh, it might be a stand to put them in. Um, but that's the first one. Now, this set, it was a set of two, and I got these for $14.99. Um, and this one is uh, 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 you, uh, you, uh, Jackman as Logan. And again, I just I got these because I want to help support his channel. Uh, and I did like watching all his videos when I first started out. I still do. Um, and so that continues. That completes the actual items that I purchased either while I was out or on auction through sourcing online. <laughs> Thank you.